Η αύξηση της θερμοκρασίας στον πλανήτη εξαιτίας της κλιματικής αλλαγής αποφέρει όλο και πιο έντονες βροχοπτώσεις όπως αυτές που είδαμε προειδοποιεί μέσω του ΣΚΑΙ ο Χωσέ Αλβάρο Σίλβα, στέλεχος του Παγκόσμιου Μετεωρολογικού Οργανισμού. Λέει μάλιστα ότι το 2023 είναι μέχρι στιγμής το τρίτο θερμότερο έτος που έχει καταγραφεί και εξηγεί γιατί θα πληγούν ιδιαίτερα οι καλλιέργειες της Μεσογείου. Dr. Silva, thank you for being at Sky TV. So, we see extreme weather conditions taking place in the heart of summer in different parts of Europe and the world, but the planet has experienced climate extremes in the past as well during summertime. What is different now that leads scientists to be more concerned, alarmed to that level? Uh, we see uh, extremes uh, almost everywhere. We have now more intense and more frequent extremes. This is uh, the main uh, reason for, for alarm. So for each degree Celsius of uh, increase in air temperature, we expect uh, the atmospheric water content to uh, increase uh, 7%. Also, changes in the jet stream are inducing weather patterns uh, conductive to heat waves and other types of extremes. Uh, and this sometimes means that in uh, one region we are experiencing a heat wave, in another region we are experiencing a heavy rainfall event. In one week we can experience uh, hot conditions and uh, just uh, next week we can experience below normal temperatures like we had experienced this, this summer. How will summers look like in southern Europe in the near future? What shall we Greeks expect and what follows an extremely hot summer? What kind of winter? What is projected to the future is just uh, uh, an increasing of the uh, extreme temperatures. So we are now experiencing uh, warmer summers, uh, extended uh, periods of uh, dry and hot temperatures. Uh, this is, is mainly in the Mediterranean region, affecting southern Europe and North Africa. Um, this means uh, less uh, rainfall also during the, the, the year and, and means uh, during the summer uh, more record temperatures and higher temperatures. But during the, the winter, the cold events continue to occur, not with the same frequency as in, in the past. So we can have shorter periods of time where we can, we can uh, experience uh, cold. Last eight years were the warmest in record, and uh, what uh, has been uh, forecast from 2023 to 2027, um, it's very likely that uh, we will uh, have the warmest year on record. Uh, this year so far is the third warmest on record, uh, so and we don't have yet the El Niño fully develops. Shall we brace for a food crisis due to climate catastrophe? Could climate crisis lead to a food crisis? Some regions, uh, due to, to climate change, will not be able to, to continue uh, to, to, to produce their, their crops as, as in the past. So Mediterranean regions is now uh, facing uh, an impact of, of drought uh, uh, increasing in frequency, Southern Europe may uh, face some impacts uh, in some uh, agriculture uh, uh, cultures uh, due to, to this uh, uh, expanded dry season and uh, less uh, rainfall uh, in total in the year.